hello viewers my name is dr said and i am going to start this video series on the topic of fractional differential equations in this video lectures we will solve the different type of different fractional differential equations what is a fractional differential equation it is a differential equation whose order of derivative is not an integer but a but an arbitrary number like one given below here you can see that d represents the derivative and its power which is the order of derivative is half so it is a differential equation in which there is a half order derivative so this differential equation is known as fractional differential equation we will be looking for its solution the value of unknown which is y of x solution of a differential equation as you people know that is a function free from any derivative and satisfies the given differential equation of course so to solve this these kind of fractional differential equation we need to know about fractional calculus what is fractional derivative how to take the fractional derivative of some elementary functions what is fractional integration so all these concepts are required to solve fractional differential equation without these concept one cannot understand how the solution of such differential equation can be solved so if you have no idea about fractional calculus uh, i have made a one series about fractional calculus these are nine and uh, lectures i will provide the link in the description you can go and take a look uh, you need to know what is fractional integral there are many definitions of fractional integrals out of which one is the most uh, famous one the riemann liouville fractional integral and there are two uh, famous definitions for fractional derivative one is riemann liouville fractional derivative and another is capito derivative so we need these three fractional operators to solve these differential equation we also need some more formulas like the fractional derivative and fractional integral of some elementary functions and since uh, we we're, we're going to use the laplace method to solve these equations there are many methods uh, i i will going to provide few methods i will start from the laplace transform method and then there will power series method and then fourier transform method and then mellin transform method then green function method so there are many methods available in the literature so i'll be start from the laplace transform so we need to know what is laplace transform and what is the laplace transform of these fractional operators there is one more important functions we call it mittock leffler function that function is also required to to know more about fractional differential equation so all these concepts i have already di uh, discussed in detail in the uh, series fractional calculus so if if you have no idea about that yeah, i recommend you to go to that series and watch them and get the basic knowledge of fractional calculus okay so here you can see that this first fractional differential equation this is the simplest one it has constant coefficients it is homogeneous and it is linear and this one initial condition is given which is also involves the fractional derivative and there is one more fractional differential equation here we have two terms which involve the fractional derivative alpha and beta both are from 0 to 1 and we have relevant initial condition and this time this is not a homogeneous it is non homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficient so there also linear non linear differential equations fractional differential equations and also fractional partial differential equation so we're going to cover as much content as we can so let's start with the definition of uh, riemann liouville fractional integral i am going to just in this first lecture i am going to recap all the concepts which i have already discussed in the previous series uh, what is fractional riemann liouville fractional integral and its derivative and capito derivative its properties basic formula and laplace transform of these fractional operators and in the next lecture i will provide the solution of such fractional differential equation so just to be given an idea uh, the riemann 
लिवल फ्रैक्शनल इंटीग्रल दिस इज डोटेड बाय कैपिटल आई फ्रॉम बेस पॉइंट ए टू एक्स ऑफ ऑर्डर एल्फा ऑफ सम फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स इट इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर गैमा ऑफ एल्फा एंड देन इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम ए टू एक्स एक्स टू दावर एक्स माइनस टी टू दावर एल्फा माइनस वन एफ ऑफ टी डी टी फॉर एल्फा इज पॉजिटिव सो हेयर दीज टू पॉइंट्स ए एंड एक्स और कॉल्ड टर्मिनल पॉइंट्स और बेस पॉइंट्स दीज आर द लिमिट्स ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन ए इज अ लोअर लिमिट एक्स अपर लिमिट एंड फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इज चूज एन सच दैट इज इंटीग्रल इज पॉसिबल हेयर गैमा ऑफ एल्फा इज अ गैमा फंक्शन विच इज वेरी वेल नोन एंड एल्फा इज द ऑर्डर ऑफ ऑर्डर ऑफ दिस इंटीग्र इंटीग्रेशन सो इट्स अ रियल नंबर इट मे बी कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर बट वी विस्ट्रिक्ट दिस टू बी a real number actually we will going to restrict this between 0 and 1 because we can uh, use other form of uh, fraction order by just using this domain so alpha is it may be fraction may be 0 and 1 may be rational may be irrational anything it can be anything so you can use this function this integral to calculate the integral of any arbitrary order of function f of x okay so uh, let's move next uh, properties of riemann liouville fractional integral this is the integral i just wrote it down here this is a from the base point and x upper point and this is alpha the order of integration so if we take alpha 0 it just return the function as it is because it in that case there will be no integral that's a natural case and there's a composition rule for two fractional integrals like if we are going to integrate a function f of x with order beta and then we integrate fractionally with order alpha it will be same if we integrating by the order alpha plus beta or we can switch beta first and alpha and then next so you can change the order of integration if you have to same base points so these this is very important formula we use it in the in solving the differential equations so this is few properties of fractional uh, riemann liouville fractional integral if we have a constant function its uh, fractional integral is c times c times x to the power alpha over gamma of alpha plus 1 and here you can see that i switch the base point 0 the base point is very critical one need to be very careful while solving the fractional integral because the we need to adjust the base point for every function we are going to integrate for this function constant polynomial function this is zero and in the next there is a x to the power n this is the power rule of fractional integral gamma n plus 1 over gamma n, n plus alpha plus 1 into x to the power n, n plus alpha and then we have exponential function e to the power kx but here you can see that the, the base point is negative infinity this formula holds for this base point which is e to the power kx over k to the power alpha and we have two more formulas sin and cosine so these are the uh, fractional integral of sin function and cosine function and here again the base point is negative infinity all these formulas have been discussed in detail and i put in in the in the series fractional calculus you can go and watch them the detailed proof Okay, now we have properties of Riemann Liouville fractional derivative. This is the fractional derivative. The previous one, the, it was a fractional integral, but now it's a fractional derivative. We have two approaches of fractional derivative. The first is Riemann Liouville, so I put R L here. That stands for Riemann Liouville. And here, what we do, we we need to, we first differentiate the function, and we first apply. This is our function. We first apply the integral to the order n minus alpha, and then we differentiate it n time. Uh, by using the definition of riemann liouville integral d by dx remain as it is and here using the previous concept it can be written as 1 over gamma of n minus alpha integral from a to x x minus t to the power n minus alpha minus 1 f of t in dt and here alpha lies between n and n minus 1 so this is the formula of riemann liouville fractional derivative 
and using this formula we have different results like if we want to differentiate a constant function here the, you will surprise to see the result is x to the power negative alpha over gamma of 1 minus alpha so it's not equal to 0 like in classical calculus whenever you differentiate a constant function you get 0 but under this uh, fractional derivative approach the derivative of a constant is no longer a 0 that's why we have a two approaches the other one will see that that actually makes the constant equal to 0 but not this one uh, if, if we have x to the power n the formula is gamma n plus 1 over gamma n minus alpha plus 1 x to the power n minus alpha uh, if we take and here you can also uh, observe that even we are differentiating but still we are integrating so it's a combination of fractional integral and fractional derivative so if the formula for fractional integral in the previous page you just need to replace alpha by negative alpha and you get this formula and this is for exponential function and this is for sine and cosine function so these are the formulas that uh, we have derived for the case of uh, Riemann level fractional integral you can see them remaining as well okay uh, next we have properties of capital fractional derivative this is the second approach of fractional derivative here I use letter C indicate that it's capital sense uh, what's the difference in capital sense we first differentiate the function n time and then we take the integral to the other n minus l this is the only difference this is an order of change in in Riemann level we have first uh, integrate the function to the power n minus alpha and then differentiate but here we first differentiate and then we integrate and using the standard notation of Riemann level uh, fractional integral it can be turned as like there and if you use this notation you will see that the constant the derivative of constant is zero like uh, we have in classical calculus so it matches with the classical calculus results and for this result the same result uh, the the capital derivative of a per, uh, power uh, polynomial function is the same as for the Riemann level functions they have same results but for other uh, functions they have slight difference in the results and for the sine and cosine uh, I use this notation this notation is called metog leffler function e sorry alpha beta to end of z it is summation k from 0 to infinity z to the power k over me uh, gamma of alpha k plus beta so this is the definition of metog leffler function of two parameters alpha and beta uh, we can express the derivative of exponential function in the form of a metog leffler function so we need also know more, more about this metog leffler function which i defined earlier i just write it again this is the basic definition of metog leffler function this is a generalization of exponential function basically and we have seen in previous lecture series these are the special cases for metog leffler function you can see that if you put alpha 0 beta 1 it just becomes 1 over 1 minus z for alpha and beta both are 1 it becomes exponential function and for taking beta 2 it becomes this function for changing the argument to z square and taking alpha 2 beta 1 it becomes hyperbolic function and uh, for negative z scale becomes cosine and sine functions so all the almost every elementary function can be represented by the help of metog leffler function so this is very important function we'll uh, use this function notation to express different functions it will easier us to handle all the elementary functions with the help of just one function next we have laplace transform laplace transform is uh, a function f of t is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e raised to power minus st f of t dt so uh, uh, laplace transform of uh, these fractional operators first i took the fraction Riemann level fractional integral its laplace transform is s to the power negative alpha to the into f of s where f of s is the laplace transform of f of t and then I took the Laplace transform of Riemann level fractional integral. This is the formula for that. And this is Laplace transform of capital fractional derivative. This is the sum. Almost they have same but slight difference in the end. And then Laplace transform this special function in solving metog leffler function. We're going to use this function very much while solving the fractional differential equation. Because the first method that I will use is the Laplace transform method. And in that method, 
I'll use Laplace transform to solve fractional differential equation. So we need these formulas and I proved all these formulas in the previous video series fractional calculus you can go there it's in lecture 8 I derived all these formulas. So all these things you need to know prior to understand how to solve the fractional differential equation which I provided in the first page like this one. So I hope that you have an idea and recap the um, few formulas of fractional calculus which you need to use while solving the fractional differential equation. If you know already about these formulas it's very good. We can go to next lecture and sol start solving such equations and if you need to know about that I, hope, I suggest you to go my video series and have a look for them. So this is the just uh, revision of the formulas. In the next lecture we will start from solving this differential equation. Thank you for watching.